Page 115, Explorer from the Future. Oh, this doesn't get easier. My fourth time jump and I still feel like my stomach is in my head. But I'm here. Thank goodness the jump masters figured out how to make me invisible. Until they did, it looked like Joe was going to do the history check on Athens and the Peloponnesian War. Everyone knew I was the expert, but no way could a visible woman jump to 432 BC and fit in. Well, the jump masters were right. I landed just behind the Agora. Let me check my jump handler. Page 117. Pericles should be just about ready to give his famous speech about war with Sparta. I'll figure out where the assembly is held. There's a wonderful smell. It must be market day. If only I were able to eat, I could try some real Greek olive oil and goat's cheese. And the fish look fresher than anything I'd find from a grow tub in 2089. And those jugs the women are filling at the fountain are beautiful beyond description. We know that under Pericles, there is a golden age of Greek art. If these simple jars are any example, I can't wait to get to the Acropolis and see the buildings and sculpture. I've already been to Sparta. How different Sparta and Athens are. In Athens, men stroll through the Agora discussing philosophy. In Sparta, I was surrounded by boys and young men boxing and practicing their fighting skills un in unarmed combat. Page 118. While I'd always read that Spartan boys were raised to be warriors, taken from their homes at the age of seven to begin military training, it was also surprising to see so many women and girls about. Some were even hanging around boys as they fought, egging them on and teasing the losers. It was very different in Athens. You would think that in a democracy like Athens, where liberty is so highly prized, women would have the right to mingle in public like they do in Sparta. In Athens, though, all but the poorest women and girls are kept inside, away from the peering eyes of men. How small their lives must be compared to mine, or even to the women of Sparta. Sparta looks different from Athens, too. Large buildings like the ones in Athens are nowhere to be seen. Sparta's buildings are not unattractive. They just aren't great. Also, I didn't, even, I, did, I didn't see even one foreigner wandering among the crowds. Well, that's Sparta's loss. Athens has gained much from its contact with people from other countries. They are welcomed by Pericles. I want to get up to the Acropolis before Pericles' speech. I can't wait to get inside the Parthenon and see the sculpture of Athena. If it hadn't been for Pericles, the Acropolis would be in ruins. The Persians really did a number on it during the war. Pericles convinced the assembly that the Parthenon and other temples should be rebuilt at public expense. Even though I'm not visible, I'm tired. Since no one can see me, I'm going to sleep right here at Athena's feet. Oh no, I slept too long. I've got to get down to the Agora right away. I can't miss Pericles' speech to the assembly. They're starting to gather. There are only men there, of course. Thank goodness no one can see me. Only the free, adult men can participate in Athens' democracy. Women and slaves were excluded. Of course, how different it is from, from the beginnings of my democracy. American slaves were property, not people, according to the laws of the time. Women couldn't vote in national elections until 1920. Pericles is certainly impressive. Everyone is nervously waiting for him to speak. I know he will recommend war, but they don't. I can see their respect for this man who has guided Athens for almost 30 years. He has strengthened its democracy while serving Athens' most influential general. One of his best ideas was to pay citizens who serve on juries and in public offices. 
That way, not just wealthy people can participate in democracy. We do that now, over 3,000 years later. Oh, here, he's beginning. It was evident before that Sparta was plotting against us, and now it is even more evident. Page 121, Jump Report from Susan to Director of Historic Truth, date May 9th, 2089, subject Athens, 432 BC. Pericles just recommended war to the assembly. Before his speech, I jumped to Sparta and witnessed the Spartan assembly doing the same. It is just as Thucydides reports in his history of the Peloponnesian War. After his speech, Pericles recommended that all people and animals be brought inside the walls of the city for protection. My next jump will be into the future at Athens to hear Pericles' famous funeral speech honoring the soldiers who died in the war. I know the town will be crowded and plague-ridden by then. It will be a sad sight. Every day, life in both Athens and Sparta seems just as our records report. Page 122. I will return after his speech. The jump masters have warned that I may not be able to become visible again if I wait too long. Woo! Another jump? I'm late. I can see the procession already outside the city gates. It has almost reached the large tent where the bones of the dead and offerings lie. The coffins are beautiful, handmade from cypress wood. So many people are following the wagons. Mothers of the dead are weeping and crying out. Pericles is on a high platform, looking out over the mourning crowd. His voice is strong, but I can hear the sorrow in it. As Thucydides reports, he is encouraging the crowd and praising Athens' many great deeds. He is offering comfort to the survivors of the dead. People are returning to the city now. What a sad procession. I cannot stay another second. I could become permanently invisible at any moment. Page 123. Final jump report filed after return to 2089. From Susan to Director of Historic Truth. Date May 13th, 2089. Subject Athens, 431 BC. By the time Pericles made his famous funeral speech, Athens was overcrowded beyond belief. Food supplies were low, and bodies of plague victims were piled in corners, waiting to be burned or buried. We know Pericles was blamed for the plague and removed from office as a result. Though he was made leader again, he died shortly afterward from the plague. I recommend another jump to the period. We cannot learn too much from this man. His ideas were far ahead of, the, of his time. It is important to remember that after Pericles' democracy, there was not another democracy for over 1,000 years. Page 124, Questions to Consider Number 1. Who was Pericles? Number 2. What are two things that Pericles was famous for? Number three, what are some differences between Athens and Sparta? Number four, how was the democracy of Athens different from the democracy of the United States today? Page 125, primary source, funeral speech of Pericles. The Greek historian Thucydides recorded the famous speech that Pericles gave in honor of the Athenian soldiers who had died in the war with Sparta. So died these men as became Athenians. You, their survivors, must determine to have as firm a purpose in battle, though you may pray to have a happier result. You must realize the power of Athens and feed your eyes upon her from day to day, till love of her fills your hearts, 
and then when all her greatness shall break upon you, you must reflect that it was by courage, sense of duty, and a keen feeling of honor and action that men were able to win all this, and that no personal failure in an enterprise could make them consent to deprive their country of their courage, but they laid it at their feet as the most glorious contribution they could offer. Thu Societies, The History of the Peloponnesian War, 1914-1918